Peg, where, where are you at? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I knew it. I knew it. You were so ready. You were so ready. So welcome. Sorry, there's a sound alert thing. Oh, what? This old thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, yes, I got it back. It is no longer. Yeah, sorry. And it's kind of competing right now with my microphone. But um, I did. I did get it back. It's not lost in the mail. Hey, Holly, subscribed at tier one for three months. That's so nice. Thank you very much. And we are going to start this particular live stream. And I know I've been kind of, it's been, I've been a little bit stretched thin, like too much butter over not enough bread, as the saying goes. And so the thing that kind of falls off the wayside is my Twitch <laughs> because I'm like, I just don't have time. So, but good morning, Silver Sevens. And I know I should remember your name, but I don't. Um, trying to think of it. We're going to start today talking about the Enamel Art Jam and do a little question and answer. Laura, 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 Laura. Hold on. I'm going to write it down because Laura... I'm going to have a thing taped on my thing is silver sevens. Perfect. I got it, Laura. Um, good morning, everybody. So I see we have a couple of viewers here and I have turned on chat for everybody. So even if you are not subscribed or followed, you should be able to chat. Um, oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. So. I thought if you have any, I'd like to welcome you to the Enamel Art Jam. If you have no idea what that is, you should go to the Enamel Art Jam website, read all about it, and sign up. It, well, if you do enameling. If you're just here lurking and you've never done enameling in your entire life, but you're even welcome to start enameling and do the Enamel Art Jam. Uh, it's open until, I think I'm going to do sign-ups until March 15th. And oh, what, what, this old thing? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, I, I got it back. I was like, uh, they emailed us finally. And hey, Vilna, hey, everybody. Uh, they emailed us. Let me turn off the enamel art jam. And they're like, oh, we finally got everything back, like two weeks, like it was like last week. And I'm like, all right, well, good, good. And she's like, oh, yeah, we're just going to uh, keep it in storage and, you know, we're negotiating to do a thing at maybe JCK in Las Vegas over the summer. And we'd like to hold on to everybody's jewelry until November, 2024. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I was like, no, I, I just really, really want to have it back because, um, oh, thank you. And we'll have a look at it after we've done the Q and A, but um, I just really wanted to have it back for a couple of reasons. I want to, well, I'm not going to show you, I'll show you the clasp later. I want to redo the clasp. I think, um, I was never happy with how the clasp turned out and because I ran out of time. Quite literally, I had four hours to make a clasp and my clasp is trash. So I'm going to pull this necklace apart. I'm going to completely, I probably will even maybe redo the final piece in the back uh, and do a little bit more integrated clasp because right now it's, it's just jank. It's janky. So that is kind of why I wanted to have it back. And if they want, if they get, if they figure out where it's, they want to have it on display, I will ship it to them and it can go on display. So yeah, oh, thank you. Yeah, and then you can see I make it everything to fit my neck. Yeah, sorry, I'm wearing, this is pulling my thing down a little bit, um, but I fit every piece of jewelry to my own body. <laughs> so if you happen to be exactly the same size as me, uh, you know everything is gonna fit perfectly. But, um, so yes, thank you. So yes, here it is. Oh, I should get a little closer. We'll have a, a look at it, honestly, in a, in a bit. Um, so are there any questions about the Enamel Art Jam? And if you've signed up, tell me, are you excited? And I know um, a few people have contacted me because there were a few kind of like, neg not negative, but um, 
maybe not as inspirational combinations. And I tried to go weed out before ones, the ones that were just kind of Debbie Downers. So I hope that you like your theme that you've been assigned. I don't remember, you know what, to be honest, uh, as far as the themes go, I gave myself permission to choose whatever I wanted, but then when I randomly did it, I actually liked the one, and I, cause I kind of felt bad, but the one that got assigned to me, I was like, oh, that, I wouldn't have chosen that one, but I'm kind of stoked about it. So um, the here button for the theme isn't working for me. Well, if you're having trouble, email me, uh, contact me directly. If you're having problems with um, any kind of technical difficulties, that's something I can help you with separately. So, but yes. Oh yeah, Holly, I saw you signed up. You signed up after I assigned uh, everybody else's. Uh, so you'll probably get your theme tomorrow morning. I'm trying to do it right after I have my coffee, but before I get up to walk out the door in the morning. So you'll be getting yours tomorrow. And uh, there's still, I think, I, I feel, hope there's not going to be too, well, I mean, we'll make more themes if we need to. But um, I think we have like 20 themes left. So what my theme is something twilight. I can't remember. <laughs> something twilight, which I'm like, all right, I can do twilight. Maybe pensive twilight or something. Uh, but I haven't given it, I've given what I'm actually going to make zero thought. So, but that's just how it goes. So any other questions? Sorry, I'm going to make sure I haven't missed any actual questions. Thank you. Thank you. And we're just going to go for just about five more minutes. Uh, just chit chatting in case anyone shows up and has a question about the enamel art jam. And then we're going to do, we're going to do some enamel. And if you stick around, we're going to be working. Oh, this is, hold on. Let me see. We're going to be working on this pendant right here, which is reminiscent wrong side of this little guy in the big necklace. I've, if you were here earlier, several weeks ago, we've, I've got it all we're ready to do the color. I've got the colors mostly pulled. So we're gonna do that today. So, oh, Margaret, thank you for subscribing with Prime for three months. That's very exciting. So yes, thank you for subscribing. And um, also, oh, we should show you the eyeballs too while we're noodling around. Let me. If you are not on Vimeo, let's put the Vimeo link up. Uh, let me show you the eyeballs. Let me, where did I put, let me run and get the eyeballs because I'm in love with these eyeballs and we're gonna make eyeball rings on Vimeo in the next one. It's show and tell video stuff. If you subscribe to my Vimeo channel. So, sorry, I'm, I'm working on the thing. We just, we, the royal we, I just posted our, um, here, we made some eyeballs out of opalescent. I made a green one, which is my favorite. Uh, the blue one is nice too. Hold on, here's the blue one. Blue one matches, hold on, blue and green. There we, <laughs> there we go. Uh, and then I made a brown one. I actually love the colors of the brown one. We'll look at it. Whoop, there we go. We'll look at the brown one later. I feel like it's a little bit lopsided. So this one's closer to my actual eye color. And so this is what was just posted on my Vimeo channel. And, oh, thank you, Super Jewel, for subscribing on Prime. Thank you, thank you. But in the next video, we're gonna make these into rings, sterling silver rings, and as an added bonus, maybe it's a bonus, maybe it is not, uh, we're going to be making a sterling silver ring for these eyeballs entirely, maybe, mostly, 90, as much as I possibly can. I'm gonna make them entirely on the arc welder, which is back here, which I've never done before, but we're going to figure it out together. And if you don't have an arc welder, well, 
you'll learn how to make a ring on an arc welder. So I'm kind of excited about these eyeballs, which let's look at the green one again, because I just, I like the green a lot. So that is, that is it. So, all right, well, you know what? I feel like we've fooled around long enough. If there are no questions, and honestly, you can ask questions about the enamel art jam at any time. Oh, the one thing I did want to talk about is, and I forgot to put it in the email, if you're gonna do, not if, when you post all of, I want you to post drawings, your designs, process pictures of the piece that you make, and I want you to use a hashtag, hashtag enamel art jam. Um, I, I would have typed it up, but I forgot to do it, enamel art jam. So tag that if you're on any of the social media that do hashtags and that would be great. You can also share them on, I have a Facebook group as well, which I haven't visited recently because I was, Facebook's made it hard for me to find it because it doesn't matter. Um, I created it with my basic Sandra McEwen profile, but I'm always logged in as my jewelry profile and you have to go back and it keeps redirecting me to the business suite, which is very irritating. So I always forget I, I don't visit it as much because it is quite literally <laughs> so to go to, but I promise to be better about that. That's why we're doing the Discord. And if you're not on the Discord, you know, it's a little bit more low tech, but you can post photos and there's a little bit of, hold on, are we still good? I guess we're good. Sorry, there was like a little, there's a weird... Thing on my computer. I'm not going to worry about it. Could somebody please make a comment to, me, to tell me that I'm still streaming? Because I'm going to... No, it doesn't say that I'm not streaming. So... Oh, hello, Glass and Fun. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. This... Computers. Computers. So this technology is amazing, but... Oh, yeah. Arc. The Arc. Laura. Laura, um, yes, and here's the thing. If you're having trouble, um, say, because I'm gonna give you the link. Here's the, because there's an invitation to go to this server. And here's like, you go in, and then I have different rooms, and each room is a little hashtag. So I have an, you know, an ask, an enamel jewelry question room. I've got the enamel art jam room. I've got Vimeo, I've got whatever. Uh, but you need to go, to, you can download Discord as an app, yes and then create yourself an account. And then from within the Discord itself, you can then paste the invitation. I know, uh, you know, whatever. Here is the Discord invitation. Control, oh, hold on, paste. Here it is, yes. So that is it. And I can make more. I don't think that one should expire, but there we go. All right, well, let us, we're gonna start, I'm gonna take this necklace off, even though it's actually surprisingly comfortable. I'm not surprised, I mean, <laughs> I haven't seen it in, when did I mail it? In August, so I was pleasantly surprised to have it show up. But let's have a look at this necklace and then we'll do a quick little show and tell and then we'll get started. We're probably going to be streaming for about two hours, so buckle up. I'm gonna go, oh, and other thing, I forgot to bring my um, iPad with me, so there's no kiln cam <laughs> today. It's just, so if we get into the kiln, uh, you're just gonna have to imagine how wonderful the kiln is. So, yo, yo, no, no, post as you go along, because it's not, nothing is a surprise. It's not about, honestly, I don't even care if you never finish it. I want everyone to get started on it. And I wanna see progress photos. It's nothing, it's all about the process and the journey. So also if, you know, I'm not saying, oh, good morning, Angie from Arizona. Don't stress out. This is, this is certainly not anything that you should be stressed out about. This should be something that you are looking forward to and it gives you pleasure and 
I'm not saying that it's going, there's going to be maybe a 30 day extension at the end because we're all running a little late, but there might be. So don't worry about the schedule. We have three months, maybe four months to get this thing done. And even I'm kind of thinking, I'm probably not going to do something this elaborate because I was looking at my schedule and I am going to be doing a lot of teaching. I'm traveling, I'm teaching in Portugal. I've got a lot going on in the next three months. So um, where do I find my words? Well, there's a, I actually, well, Lillian, Lillian Jones, I, she gave me a, a, a list of things she liked and uh, excuse me while I adjust. Um, and then I kind of came up with a few, and to be honest, this is going to be crazy, but I asked ChatGPT. I was like, ChatGPT, give me a list of 20 adjectives that have good connotations. And he's like, here you go. And, duh, 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 duh. and then I was like, give me some that are, that, gives you, that are a little meaty, that make you think. And he, he she, it, um, it generated all these great things. And um, so... Yes, it is ChatGPT that came up with most of the words. A lot of them, um, oh, confidence whispers. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. So, yeah, and so some of them, I tried to keep them, for the most part, very positive, but I wanted to have a little bit of kind of like thoughtful ones. And um, if you truly hate it, um, glass and fun, you didn't well if you if you have you signed up it's on the website uh if you signed up in the last 24 hours you're probably not you have not been assigned one yet uh, but go to the website enamel hold on remember and did you look at the pdf because i updated the pdf this morning but i didn't update the image because what a pain in the butt that is to make so uh the the pdf the link to the pdf is quite literally what's What's your name, Glass and Fun, again? I can look it up right now. Oh, I know. It's a lot. <laughs> and I'm like, it's going to take a while to, um, to do it. But, um, yeah, I'm actually kind of, I'm, like, it is just me. I don't have any helpers, it is, you know, and so I was like, oh, I hope, a, I'm not that I'm, ho I'm hope that 150 people submit everything, but everybody's going to get their own little, uh, image and there, like there's a lot of it's going to be it might take me a month to put this thing together if we get 100 and people finish 150 people finishing but you know I signed up for it so it is good and um, oh Deborah I'm going to check the excel thing hold on blank participants let's see Barbara. Yeah, I don't see you there. Uh, if you, it means it didn't, I didn't, um, if you don't see your name, you need to go and just fill out the sign up thing again, the sign up form, and then also email me just to make sure. Uh, it probably didn't go through. It's automatically going well, this was me being super tech. Uh, when you fill out that form, it actually fills out an Excel spreadsheet for me so I don't have to type it all in manually and risk misspelling your name. And classically, for some reason, I can never spell the country Australia. Don't ask me how I spell it, but I spell it wrong every time. So, Destiny Melancholy. Nice, nice. I like it. I like it. So that that is good yeah all right i'm going to take this necklace off because we're going to have a look at it we're going to go to the workbench and here's the work oh look here i still am here i'm going to take this off again remember i said i'm going to remake the the clasp because the clasp is trash there we go not trash but and we'll we'll look at this first oops see there we are. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to remake. Let's move all of this out of the way. We've got some things. Actually, let me put it in the box. And we will. We've got 
check out this box. You can buy anything on Etsy. Well, I made the presentation part, so let me actually set it here. There we go. There, so it's easier to kind of, the light is not ideal, but you kind of, we're gonna be making this little guy today, sorry, scooches, and should show you the back, but let's look at the back, which is my favorite. I'm definitely gonna do, here's the back of the piece. I don't know if you can see that at all, but you can see all of the, the little bits, bits and bobs. I'm gonna get some good photos of it in the next week or so. And so that, that is, that is this. And I'm gonna close that. Love this box. So we got to that is done. And I'm gonna put on, I need to put on my, I don't know why I can't work without putting my apron on. And I'm gonna readjust this microphone is pulling my shirt down, which I'm not thrilled about. Well, it's not technically reversible wearing, but it is. I, got, I always get too excited about the backs and then I end up loving the back more than the front. And the next piece I do is gonna be honestly reversed. So, oh yeah, it took, a hundred hours. It took a long time to make. A long time. Um, and I did not use my, um, oh, did I use, oh, I used uh, Eutectic solder on the back. There's just, there's a few things. I almost want to just totally remake this necklace with a few more technical things, but um, yes, Eutectic. So, oh yeah, I see. Sitectic. You were using the voice thing. So let's just, oh, and the other two things that I just, I just finished last week. I love, remember that yellow, that new yellow I got? Um, I have been really loving this vivid yellow. Unfortunately, I can't find any more of it. So what I have, as far as I'm aware of, is is it so i've looked in all of my usual places to see if i can get some more of this vivid yellow but so i'm going to use it until it's gone we've got this piece and this is i just put in my etsy store it's very pretty and then also finished this little guy over the weekend but the light is just i almost feel like the light i wonder if i turn the light out if it let me turn this light off see if that helps Oh, that's terrible. Eh, never mind. Lighting is just the hardest thing to deal with. But so we've got this little guy also available in my Etsy store. So that is that is pretty much the things I, were fi I was finishing up last week. So we'll set those away. And we're gonna actually get started on some things. Switch my glasses. And what are we doing? We are working on this little guy. Where did I put the, ah, this one. This one, we've done that one. We've done the one with the sweet little grasshopper and now we just have our little friend the field mouse that we're going to be working on today and if memory serves this is this has been going on a little while we've got actually all of the wires in laid and the first base coat of pale colors down so we're going to be adding the good the good coats of color today and I don't actually have anything else to work. I've got a whole bunch of things to get started on, but we're not gonna start on any of those today. We're just going to be working on this. And before I pull the microscope over so we can get a good, easy look, we've got to make sure we have um, all of 
the colors. Kingfisher asks, is Nino Mia back in business? Well, um, I don't, I, I think so. Uh, it, it remains to be seen. I know that when Mr. Nino Mia passed away, he, I don't know that they had all of the recipes or the, the skills. You know how sometimes the good knowledge is all in your noggin. And um, so I believe that they are, but I'm not sure if it is going to be what the quality is as of right now. Um, and unfortunately that yellow that I loved was in Old Thompson, so that's never coming back. So, but that is fine. Here's that yellow. Mm quite delicious. So let's, let's grab the colors and I've pulled most of the colors. We just have, we're going to do a little mini wash on some, and I'm just going to pull, we've got, I'm just going to pull these tops off. It's all kinds of shades of brown. We've got a few of these. There we go, and here we go. So we've got most of our colors pulled. I do need to grab my, it's a shower color, forget me not blue, warm blue. Please say I have some. Oh, I also wanted to get this lump turquoise. Hold on, because I love these, this combo for the background. This is 295 lump turquoise. Oh, here it is. So we we'll need to wash a little bit of that. And then we need, let's see, forget-me-not. We've got some forget-me-not right there. And then I think that is all, oh, we definitely need this color, but we'll get that in a second, this vivid orange. That's gonna be for the little, uh, three little dots there. And I think other than that, we're good to go. So we're just gonna wash these two colors. And yeah, if you are new, if you're new to this, this, this live thing, yeah, it's, not the most exciting thing in the world. It's just me enameling. So, you know, and I feel like sometimes just blathering on, blathering, blathering on. We got all of these. Got, these can just move out of the way because they always end up everywhere. And so I'm just going to wash these two colors and I'm going to do a quick, I'm just going to do a quickie wash. So, but I do want to make sure that I've got that. I'm going to label. I wonder if I have, I felt like this was a little, no, it's fine. It's fine. For get me not blue and then turquoise 295. There we go. And oh my gosh, I just, I literally just got in the mail a, a huge, not a huge, a huge, pretty huge um, shipment of lump enamels. And I got some Aoki. A, remember the red Aoki? That is just amazing. I got like three, maybe five ounces of Aoki lump. Mm, it's going to be beautiful. I'm super excited. And, um, I got it enti not entirely by accident, but another enamel artist, and uh, I'm not gonna tell you his name because I don't want you to harass him about selling his lumps. Um, I was doing some Googling and I came across, uh, let me be talking and let me be washing and talking. So I was, cause I'm you know, just in the market for lump enamels. And so I was doing my usual Google sleuthing and I, found his website and I'm like, oh, he's selling, 
he's selling his some of his lump enamels and I'm like so excited so I put like a whole mess of them in the shopping cart and I went to check out and for some reason the the shipping was coming up as like $450 and I was like that can't be right that that absolutely cannot be right so I emailed him or I contacted him and I was like so I'm on your store and it's $400. Is this correct? And he's like, how did you find that store? Like he had like taken that store down years ago, but he had, you know, you know how, you know, Squarespace or whatever is the pages are still in the ether, but um, it just wasn't linked up. But, you know, Google finds everything. So we were just, you know, chit chatting over. Let me get some of this. We were chit-chatting over the messenger and he's like, you know, I, I probably have a bunch of these. I, I can sell you some. And I was, you know, we just went back and forth and, you know, the Aoki was not on the website, but he was so generous. And I was like, you really don't have to sell me any of your enamels. It's perfectly fine. But, um, oh gosh, I got some lump, a lot of, um, some beautiful, Thompson enamel reds in lump form, which is kind of the only way I'm buying Thompson these days. And they just arrived yesterday and mm, I'm just very, very excited to make sample strips, but I'm not making sample strips. I want, I want to make them this weekend, but I can't, I have t unfortunately too much to do to make sample strips. So that is it. So got these two little colors and then we will get started. I've got some clean water here. There we go. So I was actually a little bit more prepared this time. So I'm just going to get some of this forget me not. Put you right there. But the color that I'm definitely looking for, there's always kind of like, I should make like little flyers, have you seen me? Um, besides that yellow, that's just gorgeous. It's literally just called yellow. Um, uh, what is it called? Shamrock. There's this beautiful color, shamrock. Oh, um, yo, yeah, Thompson Lump. Robin says, hi, Sandra, did I miss the Q&A? No, of course not. Shoot me with your questions. No, not sh whatever. Shoot your questions my way and I will answer them. Nobody seemed to have a ton of questions, so we just went right to, you know, some enameling. But please ask, ask away. Um, you can always also contact me. Email is quite literally the surefire way to get me to reply to you. Facebook and Instagram are hit and miss because I can't always find, because of my multiple things, I don't always see the messages there. Oh, well, oh, I'm sorry you're not feeling well, Robin. Robin says she is sick today. So everybody send healing thoughts. Um, Robin, did you get your assignment? Did you get your, your theme? Yeah, basically, Robin, let me just, you know, I can blab about pretty much anything. We've got these two colors are ready to go. And honestly, I think really the only new thing is do please post pictures of your progress, especially sketches that you have as you go. It's great to post things on all the social media sites that you want and maybe use the hashtag what is the hash? Oh, I don't need this enamel jewelry. Sorry, everybody. I keep forgetting that that can go away. Um, hash, what is it? Hashtag enamel art jam would be a good one. And if everyone uses that, it'll be kind of easier to find. And then also there is, if you haven't joined the Discord server, here is a link to that. Again, there we go. Oh, sorry. There we are. There's the link to the Discord server. It is an app. It is free. 
but you need to download it and create an account to use it. So let me move that over there. All right, so we are ready to get some color on our little friend. And I'm going to start by putting these blue ones away, closing, and moving. Let's get our, oops, sorry, here's, there's my lap. I'm gonna, I see I've made a mess. Let's get, oh, where did I put the actual piece that we're working on? Let me adjust. That's good. There we go. And let me turn on the microscope. Microscope. There we go. Let's make sure that everything is in focus. Let me. There we go. So you can see we've got our little guy. The texture is ready. I've got the first coat of really pale blue and all of the wires are down. So where should we start? Also, I wanna get, let's get the drawing out here too so I can kind of see what we're doing. Let me make sure, can we see that? And also, let me adjust my there we go. There we go. So it's always hard to start, know where to start with these, but I can see immediately that I have a couple wires that I'm going to just fuss with. There we go. Make sure they're pressed down. Just gently, there we go. I want to make sure nothing is sticking too far up. There we go. Now, let us start with the body of our little friend. Let's get him all set. Hold on, I see a wire sticking up. You know what, I think I'm gonna start with his eyeball. So, and I haven't, we're gonna to have to remember we got all these other colors. We just washed those two. These are all bone dry, so I'm gonna to have to do, you know, a little bit of mini wash. So we've got, let me show you the colors. These are gonna be for the background. It's gonna be all of that. And then for his little body, we've got these real pretty shades of brown and then let me scooch over just a little bit and zoom in there we go just so you can kind of see what's going on um, we're not doing this one but zoom in a little more there we go and I don't have my second light because I had thought we might do some fusing today so I, I set the light situation up over there, but then we're not going to do that. So, it, uh, yeah, so we're going to start with the black eyeballs, which is this color. And I'm going to do a little mini that's, we don't need to see that color. Oh, and then pink. He's got some cute, we're going to use the baby pink, which I love so much. So that is what is going to go on, but we're going to get, we're just going to kind of wash it as we go. I'm gonna just start with the browns because the browns tend to be the colors that degrade the fastest. So if we do need to wash anything fresh, good to find out before I absolutely am just about to put it on. That's good to go. Need to remember not to put things on the left hand side. And caramel, pretty brown. I think these should be just fine. I was just using most of these, so. Oh, 
Oh, and also, um, if you did, sorry, it's, it's another enamel art jam thing. If you signed up and you you indicated that you wanted to be paired with another enamel artist, I haven't done that yet. I will pair you up, uh, and that is 100% optional. It's just for the people that want to have a buddy, a buddy, to a specific person to throw ideas off, maybe an accountability partner, and I'm, it's going to be completely random. Uh, so, but I guess if you have a preference as to, if you want somebody of your skill level, you're just going to have to let me know because I'm going to randomly assign you guys and that will probably go out over the weekend sometime. So what else do we need? Honey. Because I kind of was part of another, it wasn't at, it was, it was more exercise related where they're like, oh yeah, here, you should all pair up and do accountability partners. But then it was just endless feeds of people being like, I need an accountability partner. So I thought if you want one, I'm going to be like you and you go, I'm going to assign them. So you don't ever have to contact your accountability friend, but I'll have done my due diligence. got that. What other brown do we need? Oh yeah, plat platinum was going. I'm a little hesitant to do the platinum. I feel like it got a bit orangey splotchy the last time I used it, which I didn't care for. But on the other hand, there's not... Yeah, maybe. They're very similar. And it's not splotchy at all in the sample, but I felt like it had little flecks of yellow. And obviously I'm seeing, I was looking at it through, we'll wash it. You know what? We'll see. When you look at everything through the microscope, you start seeing things that don't matter. Um, you have to really sometimes get your head out of the microscope and be like, Can, will anyone actually notice this? So we've got that. Oh, and then our baby pink, and then we'll be ready. I always got that. And also, I know, on the Discord, I can create voice servers so you can actually talk to each other if you, I turned, I deleted them all because it defaults when you create a server to a bunch of these voice things. And I'm like, ugh, I don't want to the voice server, but I'm going to create one so people can actually chit chat about that. So we've got our lovely pink and let me get, let me pick a good, oops, the brush selection for the day. Which one? Let me get it. I got to get my glasses on so I can pick a good brush. There we go, which is gonna be the, oh, oh, this one. Let's see, I want this one right here. That's the brush for the day, at least intro brush. Yeah, I'll just put that right there. All right. We'll start, I'm just gonna start with the eyeball, just because, and I also am going to get a piece of something to hold that a little bit steadier, a piece of foam. There we go. Oh, and Mary Lee Ray signed up. So she's taking part, I'm super excited. And she got a really good one. Um, what did Mary Lee Ray get? Um, and it was also like random ones. Um, she got, it was something luminosity, which, oh, pensive luminosity. I think that's what Mary Lee Ray got. And I'm excited to see what she comes up with for that. All 
All right, let's get some. Let's start with this. Start with the eyeball. Hold on, because I raised it up, I have to adjust my focus. There we go. I feel like I want to scooch you over there. Go. A little stack of paper towels. All right, all done. All right, now it's always, I do stress out so much about doing complicated things like this because there's just a lot of thought that goes into it. But I'm actually gonna start with my, start with this back ear. I'm gonna start with my shadows. So this little ear, make sure you can see. And remember, you can always go darker, but you cannot go lighter. Or you can, well, not without great difficulty, can you go lighter? So let me dump out some of that water. So I'm going to be very a light touch with that dark purpley brown. In fact, well, it's fine, it's fine. Do you kind of want to see? We've got this. I know. Got a little bit of pink. I'm going to start. And you know what? I'm not going to do the platinum at all. I have a doop a doop. Honey. I know. We're going to start with this little nose. A little bit of blushy pink. Good. And a little bit. That. I know I am just it's predominantly going to be this kind of brown color. like to give it a little bit of roundness by putting my darker colors just around here. That's good. I should look at the, no, I'm not going to look at the actual necklace, the one that's finished. We Amazing is now following. Welcome. Welcome. And then his little ears. I think we'll do a little bit around his eye. Like that. Honey. Just feathering that in. It's gonna be more dark. Where's your little? Oh, I have it a little bit different than the drawing. That's fine. Let's get you a little bit. There we go. Let's get 
a little bit of this over here. And then we need a little bit of pink. I know there's probably actually no pink in an actual little mouse, but I'm going for the adorableness factor here. So we're going to do a little bit of this blushy pink going in here. I feel like I want a little bit more pink on his nose too, around his mouth. There we go. I don't mind that. That's good. That's good. Oh, look how cute he is. So, so cute. Now I want just, I'm going to do a little bit of blotting. And then I'm going to drop in a little bit of the dark. Just here and behind here. And maybe even here. I think that's good. Look at his little face. Now we gotta get his little haunch, his leg, his paw. Will he have pink paws? <gasps> yes, maybe. Is it too much pink? No. <laughs> the platinum whatever just go for the honey a little bit of feathering It is very much like, it's not like painting because you're kind of putting the material down and blending with the wire. And there's no, it's not high stakes, you know. Um, if it doesn't work out, I just write down what I learned and try not to make that mistake again. So I can always 
Yeah, and yeah, I've already put some hours into this piece, but you should never, it's like Pente, a moment to learn, and then you just layer complexity as you get better. And while I'm sitting here, before this all totally dries, I'm gonna put some of that blue, cause he's gonna, he's got, I probably should have put a curly cue down here, but should I put a curly cue? <sighs> maybe, maybe. Um, but I'm gonna put some enamel down first and then maybe we might insert one. Um, now, Wee's amazing. Do you know what this is enamel? So this is glass. I'm not sure when people come, I don't, okay, because everybody's allowed to chat today, I forgot. Um, this is, these are grains of glass. And so once I get all of these laid in, we're gonna let it dry and I'm gonna turn on my kiln which is over here, and we're going to fire it in the kiln. Um, oh, no, no, never apologize. It's, I would rather you ask questions, especially if you don't know what this is. This is a good introduction. So it's grains of glass. These are all ground up bits of glass, different colors, and I'm blending them. And so we'll fire them at 1430 Fahrenheit 776 Celsius for just about two minutes and it'll melt everything and then we're going to add probably four or five layers of glass all the way to the top and then we'll get to here let me show you if you've just joined us here's one that's finished this is our friend the lighting this I hate the circle light but we've got our friend right here who is the grasshopper that we've already done. So this is what we're gonna end up with. Obviously, right now we're making our friend the field mouse. So yeah, and now this is vitreous enamel, which is means glass just means vitreous. So whenever you see vitreous enamel, you know that it's melted glass because there are, don't get me started about cold enamel. <laughs> I'll start I'll start like a flame war about cold enamels, but I'm not going to. Um, but generously, um, this is vitreous enamel. So yeah, and here, hold on, go to my website. If you are interested, where's my website? Oh, never mind, I don't have it. It's sandramckeown.com. <laughs> um, how do I not have it on here as a thing? Eh, whatever. sandramckeown.com. Check it out check it out so and the goal today is to get it's one o'clock already the goal is to get a nice a solid color a solid coat of color on here and I admit that I do things I'm a slow artist this is slow slow art <laughs> so I'm gonna add some of that blue down here remember we've got the forget-me-not very pretty I'm not gonna do this turquoise because it's a little reactive. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the turquoise in the next firing. So, yes. Yeah, can someone post a link to my website in the, in the chat if you don't mind? I can't believe I don't have it as one of the, the links I can put up. But let's see, we're gonna do forget-me-not around here and I'm gonna bend a wire and jam it in there so because I feel like we need a little wire add a little water here And I shouldn't say anything, but we've had no spam, have we? No. Oh, you can't do it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I forgot that you guys can't do links. Um, maybe just write, yeah, don't worry about it. It's all coming up as dot, dot, dot. Um, it is sandramckeown.com. We've got a little bit of this. I'm going to pause and make a quick wire because I want a little wire I feel like we've got room for a curly key wire. So yeah, sorry everybody, you can't post links here. You know what, I can post links though. Duh, www.sandramckeown.com. There it is, 
the, I'm like the wizard. I'm the only one that's allowed. So there it is. Um, sorry, everybody, I forget. Yes, thank you, thank you. Let me grab a little bit of wire, a tiny, tiny dollop of, I spent a little bit of time the other day and I bent a ton of wire. So I don't need a very big piece. I'm just gonna grab a little piece of wire right there. And hold on, I'm gonna put things away as I go. There we go. And I'm going to make one tiny curly cue. Let me get my round nose pliers and let me put on my actual glasses. I'm so old. There we go. So we've got, I don't need a real big one. So I'm making, see how we can do it. I feel like I should get triple points doing it awkwardly so it's in front of the camera. Is that gonna be big enough? Let's see. That'll be the right size. Now, that's, oh, that's good. Let me just cut that. There we go. And where did it go? Scooch it, make it just a little bit smaller. Let's see if it's gonna fit. Oh, trim it one more little bit. Trim it. There we go. Perfect. Does it fit? I don't want to stick my finger on it. I think that's good. That's good. And we're going to just kind of put the enamels in between and let the enamels hold it in place. So let's throw a little, let's throw a little water on there first. Because this, the rest of the mouse is kind of sucking up the rest of the moisture. So that's good. Get a little bit of this forget-me-not. Thank you. Get some of this, because he's got, oh, that'll work. I know a little bit of that blue is creeping under, but You know what, I think that'll be good. We'll fire that and get more blue. That'll just, that will lock that wire in place. Let me just a little bit. Right there. Good enough. Let's make sure you press it down. That's perfect. We'll get that filled in with color in the next firing. So that is good. Let's go ahead and get the rest of his little body done. Oh, that's part of the, I'm like, what is, that's part of the flower. So. Oh, and I'm super excited. There's so many different people from all different countries participating in the Enamel Art Jam. And somebody this morning from Azerbaijan signed up and I'm super excited because one of my favorite YouTube channels is this woman that lives in the mountains of Azerbaijan and she cooks these enormous meals. They're amazing. They're amazing. And Azerbaijan looks gorgeous. So we officially have a person from that country who is participating. So it's exciting. All right, I'm going to start with my back. Let's start with Let's talk. There we go. We're gonna get his rump. Let's get the rump. 
Here's his little rump. There we go. John. Oh, I also have a little, I'm going to do a little bit of this dark. I know you can't see his, his nose right now, but I'm just going to throw a little bit of the dark right there. That's good. All right. Caramel. Mostly caramel here. A little there. Do you think the tip of his tail will be pink? And that would be more, no, no, no. Because he's, that would be more like a rat if he had a pink tip of a tail. So I think, because he would still have fur. There we go. A little bit of this dark Oh. Well, you know what? We'll pull that in. Just a little bit right here. We're going to do a little bit more of the shading in the next round. Just like that. And let's just there we go. That is not that's part of the flower. So hold on, I'm like, what is this? Oh, that's the, sorry, the foil is stuck up just a little bit. Press that down and add a little bit more of this. There we go. There we go. Now I have a little bit of dark that creeped under that I'm going to remove and then we'll get the tail done on our little guy. I'm just going to wick some of that moisture. Boom. Let's make sure you can see what I'm working on. Yeah, I'm just going to see how it kind of creeped under here, that dark. I'm going to push it out, push it out of the way. And I'm going to do the lighter honey, 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 honey. Was that the honey that I wanted? Yes. A little bit of this honey right in there. But I've wicked all the moisture. It's like that game of you need enough moisture, but not too much moisture. That's a weird fluck. Get rid of you. And then a little bit of this caramel. We'll blend these just a little bit. Right. Look at his 
little face, his, his little body looks real good. I want to pick off, there's a little bit of blue that creeped onto his little hand. I'm going to wick some of this moisture. And pick some of that up also. There we go. That's good. Now we're going to do his blue background and then we've got the flowers and it's this little strand of multicolored doodads. Boobs and bobs. Boobs? No, I don't know. So we're going to do the background first and we've got these three colors are going to be our background. This middle one that I've discovered is a little bit reactive to silver. Those, all the warm, I've discovered that generally speaking a lot of turquoisey colors tend to have, I call them stealth reactors in that they look great on the sample. I don't see any reaction on that, but then like if you don't have a good barrier between the silver, they'll get a little splotchy which, so we're not going to use that one. We're just going to do the light and the dark and we'll fuss them together. We'll tie them all together in the next one. So it doesn't really matter where we start. We're gonna start at the bottom. Put a little water and do each little compartimente at the same time. That is way too much water. It's like a river in there. There we go. Start. But I do love this. Not I love both of these blues. These are my two favorite blues right now. This is Old Thompson 546. It's just called blue. It doesn't even have a good name. And the other one is a shower forget-me-not blue. I don't remember the number on that. It has, it's a four-digit number. Uh, both of them, they're just really, really nice blues because they're neither too green nor too purpley. They're just so friendly, friendly blues. Too much water in here. You can see everything's kind of swimming around. There we go. Get that. Now let's get a little bit of this. And it's going to look a bit, it's not going to be a smooth transition because we haven't added that middle color, the tone yet. We'll do that in the next go around. I do want to maybe get for these little dots and even bring in one more color because do we need do we need a reason to bring in an, an, another extra color? I don't think so. But we'll probably do that in the next one. Just a little. Let me grab some very pale blue. I'm going to put this really, really pale blue in those dots in preparation for a pure turquoise later. Good. And then this is a blue. To get all the little, there's a lot of kind of little bits in here that I can't, you can't forget to put enamel in.
Oop, sorry. Pull that back. One drop right there. Do you think do you think we can put one right in here? There we go. Without pulling that wire out. go got a little bit in let us continue around the circle we're going to get these little areas Yeah. Sorry, I'm fig fiddling with my focus. Well, now we're ready. Just a few more little areas. Scoot you down. Oop. I'm gonna do this these little areas up here. Doop doop doop. Hold on I saw a piece of wire sticking up that we don't oop hold on. That's not surprising. Will you fit back in? Nope. Let me trim you down a little bit. Get those little bits of silver. Oh, give it to me. Now I've kind of, you know what, maybe we don't need a dot there. Forget that dot, that dot never happened. Make sure you can see. A little bit of yellowing over there. Now I just gotta get, oh, did we get all over here? Let's get these two. 
Oh wait, this is N55. Yeah, doing the background is not quite as exciting. I feel like I want to put a little bit more right there. There we go. one. I think I'm gonna, um, I might regrind some of this. I feel like it's a little too fine. I'm worried it's not gonna be transparent enough, but we'll see how it looks. I feel like I need a finer to get into these real tiny ones. I need a, a finer brush. Let me grab a new one. I know I've got a new brush over here. Brand new brush that has never been sullied to get into the tiniest of crevasses. There we go, that's, there we go, that's the right size brush. You know, I was thinking, <laughs> my life's work is the getting the tiniest brush in the world. Hold on. Now just a little bit of blue in here in the dots. We're going to put in there. Let's make sure. Oh, I got these dots over here. I forgot. Now I'm just going to put it these are dry bone dry as a bone let me put some water 
and then the next thing will be the flowers and then the little ribbon of rainbow ribbon. Did I get all those? That'll do. That's good. Now we're ready to do our little flowers. Here we have our background is all done. Look how cute. And we're going to do, and the flowers are all a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow. So we're going to have to get those colors. We'll start, this is our dark orange, Nino Mia. Get a little, get everything. Let's put the blue away over there so I'm not tripping on it. We're going to just pull. Mini wash. Mini wash. We've got that color. We want our gold. Again, these are the two best golds in the world. And you know, I know it's a bold statement, but I stand behind it. N20, N23, Nino Mia. Gorgeous. And what else do we need for the flowers? We need the greens. We're really focusing on the Nino Mias here. Green. You know, I'm not going to put them there because that always ends up with me knocking them over. We've got dark green. We've got another Nino Mia N37. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And then, oh, we're going to break into an old Thompson here. 737 Citrus Chartreuse Chrome. Welcome to the party. Can never say no. There we go. And then the last but not least, we're going to do two whites. We've got 210 semi opaque. I just ordered some more of this. Hopefully, it will come soon. I always get a little nervous when I have less than two ounces of a color. I think I have about a half an ounce of this stuff left. But it's easy to, it's, it's a Nihon Chippo, so it's pretty easy to find right now anyway. Oh, I don't even know why I'm washing it so much because it's semi-opaque. Fooling around. And this is a translucent. Also Nihon Chippo, G, what is it, G710, spilling water everywhere. There we go. We're just waking those colors up. That's not good. There we go. Now, what are we doing here? Let's get, you know, I'm liking this new brush. Am I? Which is which? Yeah. So, orange, orange, green. Or green, yes. Start with, we're going to start with this little flower right here. Oh, we also want the yellow. The tiniest amount. We want a dot. I want a dot of yellow, which is about what we have. Got that ready to go. Oh, I also got an Aoki yellow, which I'm excited about. In lump form. But we're going to start with the citrus. Do you want to do just green? Yes, no. Um, I can think about it for a second. We're going to do a little tone. There we go. I can 
I wanted to get in there. Some of my foils kind of curled up a little bit. Oh, you know what I forgot? Crap. I need uh, N24, very pale yellow. You know what? I'm just going to grab it. Look. Here it is right now. Look how fast I grabbed it. It's like I'm a, a ninja, an enamel ninja. Let's just make a little bit. I know I have a little bit in the drawer, but I also know there's not much in the drawer. And we're going to want this. A little bit of that. About that much. Yellow. And it's time to get some fresh water. Let me grab some of that. Where were we going to put that yellow again? Right here. Another Nino Mia. Yellow right like that. We'll just grab this. One thirty. Just. When I'm done with these flowers, somebody needs to remind me to turn the kiln on because the amount of time it takes to do this will probably be just the right amount of time for the kiln to heat up. Get a little bit of gold. So much water. Blah. But I know I was saying that I used ChatGPT to help me come up with the word list. But, you know, ChatGPT, I'm going to go on a little rant about it. It doesn't, it, I feel like it makes shit up. Uh, I was like, I asked it about, first I was like, you know, because I like history. And so I was like, you know, I want, so I asked it about the history of, Castle Street, which is the street that I live on in Wilmington, uh, that my studio is on, and because there's a great history of this particular part of town, and I was like, why don't you write a two-page report about the history and notable people that have lived on Castle Street in Wilmington, North Carolina, and it wrote this, and it wove this whole story, and I and some of it was just completely downright fabricated. Like they picked like well-known mansions and historic places in Wilmington and said that they were on Castle Street and that these famous people lived on Castle Street and it was all a lie. And it was just, I would, I would never, it just, you, where is it? Like it was just so funny because you think, it felt like it was doing it on purpose. And um, so then I was like, well, I'm interested in genealogy. Tell me like the history of the McEwen family in North America. And it wove this whole story about how at the turn of the century, the McEwens, there was the McEwen Steel Corporation, which was the 
biggest steel corporation in the world at the turn of the century. And I'm like thinking to myself, don't they mean like the Carnegie? Like they just made up all this stuff. And there was this famous McEwen person who was a big philanthropist. And I'm like, that is, it's all made up. So that's, don't trust, don't trust the computers. I guess that's my, I'm gonna put a yellow dot here. And I wanted a vivid yellow dodge too. Now we're going to get into our opaque. Which one is too? This is the semi opaque. right on the end there. Like that. And I want a little pale yellow here. No, nope, I put pale yellow there. So we want the translucent white. Boy, I am just way overthinking this one single flower in a way that I didn't whole rest of the thing. There we go. There we go. All right, one flower down. Let's get this other flower going. bit of that. A little bit of that. Bit of yellow. Yellow. Angie says, ChatGPT is as smart as what information? There was a, what's a YT? Oh, Tom Scott. I love Tom Scott. Oh, wait, is he the dorky guy that uh, he's kind of British and he wears that sweatshirt all the time? Um, yeah, oh yeah, definitely very, well, and here's the other thing. <laughs> um, so smart, like disturbingly smart at certain things because I also yesterday, um, you should go read my Etsy descriptions. Oh, YouTube, yeah. Um, I had it right, Etsy descriptions for my jewelry. And you'll know because they're very florid that I didn't actually write them. And all I said was, write a description for my grasshopper. Oh, that's it. Write a description for my grasshopper enamel pendant. That's all the information it had. It wrote like, it waxed poetic about three paragraphs long about the process of enameling and how delightful the colors of the the grasshopper were and then it actually listed the dimensions of the piece and it was correct like how on earth did it know the dimensions of this pendant 
Um, it knew what it was made of. It listed the dimensions, um, that it came with an 18 inch chain. And I don't know, I guess maybe it looked at some of my other posts, but it was a little freaky. Let me get a little orange in there. Now I want a little, where's my opaque? Wait, wait, this is 710, wrong one. That's the danger when you're using two colors that look like this, that you're gonna reverse them. Now, what did we just watch from Tom Scott? He's, he's like my favorite dorky, like, <laughs> He's ador he's a so adorkable. Like, is that a word? Adorkable. He's always feels so breathy. He's super excited about what he's talking about. Or maybe it's answers with Joe. I can't remember. Now I'm like, which one is it? It doesn't matter. We watch both of them. In fact, I think that's all we watch on TV. Like, we got rid of almost everything and we just watch YouTube now. A little bit of that. I'm gonna put one doll up. And just a little bit of, oh, we have a new follower, Hill, Hop, Hill Hope, H. Hill Hope. Welcome. Thank you for following. There we go. Good, good, good. One more flower. We're so close. Look at our little friend here. So cute. Gonna get this last little flower on here. Joe's, is that Answers with Joe? Joe Scott. Yeah, I mean, everybody's named Joe. So, all right, so let's get a little yellow here. I don't think we need any green. That's good. Yellow. Oh yeah, he's funny. I, I like how he does the thing like, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. he kind of like pivots around. I tried to do that one time in homage, but it didn't quite work out in one of my videos. Yeah, someone like that with that huge of a following. I assume that they have um, people helping them do the research and the video stuff. Do I want to do a vivid yellow dot there? No, I want to do a citrus, a citrus dot. There we go. And more of this. No. Just keep that. Now, as soon as I put this color in, I'm going to stand up and turn the kiln on.
there we go. We still have to do this little bit, but the kiln needs to heat up. So I'm gonna be, I don't have my iPad with me today, so we don't have the kiln cam. Um, oh yes, yeah, Star Talk with Neil deGrasse Tyson. I love that. Um, I love um, Skeptic's Guide to the Universe. That's just the podcast though, that's not YouTube, or maybe they have a YouTube. Um, love all of that stuff, Nova. Turning the kiln on to, I'm gonna do 13, sorry, 1400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 700 and something. I'll let you know in a second. I'm just gonna go turn the kiln on. But again, 1400, which is 760 Celsius. 1400, 760. Hey, Kilmaine, how you doing? You're looking real handsome today. Gonna do a little firing? Yeah. Come on. Alrighty, one, two. What are we at? Ooh, no, we gotta go higher. We have it set for, oh, we were doing opalescence, that's why. Go all the way to 1400. There we go. There we go. There we go. Kiln is on officially. You guys go out of the way. Hopefully it'll be raring to go. So we just have to do our little strip of this little area. You can see right here. And we're going to do, I've changed it up a little bit. I'm gonna punch it up with the, on the orange spectrum because because so we're gonna go actually gonna go orange we're going this way so we're gonna do this color all the way to maybe a little bit of green maybe maybe so we're gonna go a little bit more rainbowy I think so that is it. Hill says, Hill Hope says, thanks, I love your work, my friend. Oh, Catherine Osgood. Um, oh, Hop, Hoppy, 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 Hoppe. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome. There we go. So we're done with those colors. And here's the dealio with, remember this amazing orange. Look at this amazing orange. That is a shower 112 red lump. And, but you can see how wildly reactive it is. I've put a few little gold dots down there, but I'm still not gonna put it into the next. I'm gonna wait until the next firing for that one. Same goes for this really pretty this, I love this. This is an old Thompson 750 peach lump, which is gonna be our second thing. So, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, and this is fine, whatever, yeah. I'm gonna put this color down under all three of these colors because I really want to amp up the yellow. I want this to be a really vivid shade. So we're really just gonna do these three. We're gonna do this yellow, oops. Let's see if we, oh, hold on if you can see this. We're gonna do the yellow almost two thirds of the way in this one. Oh, and we have to do the background too. So you blah, 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 let me backtrack. I forgot I have to do another. Let me start with that. I totally forgot. I've got to do a little bit of the black on the background. You see how there's like black behind all these dots. And I always, I've been kicking myself with this because it's really, really fiddly, but I'm committed to it. So we're actually going to start with the black first, and then I'll get a little bit of the other colors in. Oh, let's put a little water. Hoppy.
There we go. Just a little bit. This will be the last little bit of black we have to do. We'll just put the colors. Once we get this firmly established black, we can put whatever we want on top of it and you won't see it. So be a little bit more loosey goosey. you right now a little bit more water yeah I think the plan is it's about it's almost two we're gonna get this in we'll get it fired we'll look at it probably call it a day then because the second coat is not as exciting to watch as the first coat it's kind of more of the same but I do promise wait today's Friday I will be definitely be back on Tuesday yeah, I was thrown for a loop because I started teaching. I did my first three-day workshop in my studio, which was nice. Someone stalked. Someone is yelling outside. Good. It's always nice. Um, but then I had to also get the enamel art jam stuff. It was just a, a big weekend. So... But I promise I will be will be will be streaming again on Tuesday. The ultimate goal is Tuesdays and Fridays. See, I want to press that wire down a little bit. Hold on. These little guys. It's fine. Just a little bit. There we go. I'm just going to keep going. Getting a little bit of black. I had an idea for these for the next time, which is punch out little mini, mini bezel cups. And then they would all be exactly the same size and nothing could creep under. I'm going to definitely try that. Wonder if that you know sometimes you think about ideas and you're like then the reality is like it'd probably be a lot more work but maybe it wouldn't there we go yes I do love the idea of these little dots but they are a pain in the rump. Get a little bit more water. You stay right there. See if we can get this little bit of water. There we go. There we go. A little bit more. Maybe. 
Maybe I'll just do yellow. We're at about 1100. Should just be good. But yes, I started my, God, I can't believe, was it really just the first? No, it was a second workshop. Had a lovely student, Lori, come and spend three days. And gosh, she made some gorgeous pieces. And we had lots of fun. It's definitely easier to teach in person. <laughs> like I can just show you what I mean. Um, and also I've got all of my stuff here. So there we go. A little bit more right there. Now we're just gonna throw a little bit of yellow in and then we will call this ready to fire. So we're gonna start back I hope I have enough. I might, we got this much. That might be enough to get us because that, oh good, I, yeah, I ground a bunch of it. I ground, like I say I ground a bunch of it. That's a bunch of it. Um, I love, I love this yellow. It, you know how you have like a list? I don't know if you do, if you have a list of your top 10 enamels in the entire universe. Um, are there any enameling dealers at the Las Vegas show this March? Which Las Vegas show are we talking about? Um, I have not heard of a Las Vegas show. Or have I? Glass show? What's it called? I don't know. Um, uh, I mean, the only, as far as I know, enamel dealers in the United States would be, I mean, there's Thompson Enamel, and they only do the unleaded modern. Um, there's Enamel Art Supply. I would, they, I mean, I'm not sure if she would be at that show. Um, e Enamels, but that's the same thing as Thompson Enamels. Um, I don't know the answer. Oh, Hoppy asked, how long have you been using a microscope? Oh my gosh. Um, I wish I could go back in time and have used it longer. I, a couple years, I guess. I got it when I was back in Raleigh. So at least five years I got this microscope. It honestly was a game changer for my work particularly because you know I like to be a little bit particular. So all of a sudden I can see what's going on and make sure that my connections are good, everything looks good. There's definitely a little bit of a learning curve for working under the microscope, but I find it very, um, it's actually really focusing because when you're looking through the microscope, it drowns out the rest of the world so it really you know gives you this laser focus which you kind of need um, but it's not an inexpensive tool but I honestly love it let's see if you can see what I'm doing oh glass craft and bead expo oh nice wholesale. Yeah, I'm not sure who would be there. Maybe Rio Grande would be there. Um, yeah, there's a weird, you know, not disconnect, but you know, sometimes the glass, you know, glass, hot glass kind of forgets about enameling as <laughs> part of what they are. Um, so maybe there would be enamelling there, maybe there would not. Because I was looking at the Corning Museum, I love, you know, the Corning Museum, looking at their offerings. And to be honest, once if you have like a glass blowing studio, that's a whole different setup than obviously doing this. So, but they did, as, I think, offer one enamelling class. 
There we go. Oh, click he's up. Click the kiln is up to temperature. Oh, got a little bit of block in there. Get out. I'm gonna make little bezel cups. I bet you can make a tiny miniature jig for that. Hmm. It would have to be very tiny. There's that. There's this. Ah, Glass Craft Expo. Well, I guess if you're going to go to Las Vegas, March is probably a good time of the year because it won't be blazingly hot yet. All right. Dun, 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 dun. And you know what? I'm going to switch to this color. I'm not going to do that until the next one. We're just going to switch to our citrus. I'm going to back. I'm going to go backwards too. Oh, I hold on. I see a dot there that I forgot that I wanted to put. Do I want to put yellow in or orange? Orange. Let me grab a tiny, tiny dot of orange. Where are you? Oh, you're hiding. Incognito. There we go. A little bit of water. Just a few more dots and then we won't even need to let this dry too long because the rest of it is probably bone dry. I'll just blot, blot this. There we go. All right, we that here we are. We've got our first coat and I'm just going to go ahead and go quickly put it under the heat lamp. Let me just blot. I honestly it's probably ready to go in. But I want to just have it. There we go. I'm going to go put it on a trivet and just give it a minute under the heat lamp and we will fire it and maybe I can Jerry rig the, the this camera to at least be pointing at the kiln while we do that. So we're going to do that, and I'm going to turn off the the tiny microscope thing. Yeah. Oh, Hoppy asked, I need a microscope. Yes. The older I get, what brand is yours? I have a Meiji, M E I J I, and I bought it from Rio Grande probably what six years ago, maybe a little bit. They're right about six years ago. Um, 
it was expensive then and I bet it is expensive now. And you know what is even more expensive, as expensive as the microscope is the, let me put this, let me go put this under the heat lamp and then I'll blab about it. Uh, let's get a decent size trivet. Eh, you'll do. You just hang out there, little guy. Perfect. All right, yeah, let me show you Med Medgy. Here is, that is the, this is the microscope itself. Uh, and then the, you have to obviously, of course, a la carte, You've got the light system, which is attached down here. And then this whole, this setup is as expensive. This is the, the holder for the, the microscope. Uh, it's worth it, but it is as expensive as the microscope. So whatever you're paying for the microscope, think you're gonna be doubling it by the end. So um, I know that Rio Grande sells them, but you can also just look online and maybe you'll get a better deal. But I like this brand, it has a dual thing. The one thing that I would change that I really, really regret, but I didn't know because it didn't exist six years ago is um, I have the one that does not, see right here, it's there's nothing. Um, you want the one with the, uh, there's like a tube through here that you could attach a mic, like a camera to. Um, I didn't get that one, so I cannot actually attach a camera to this microphone, mic microscope. You can see I've jerry-rigged this little crappy camera here to the side to try to take pictures of it. But if I had the foresight and gotten the one that had that connector thing, I could just buy a wildly expensive camera and it would be perfect, but I cannot. And I'm, I'm not going to buy a new microscope just to get that um so all right we're going to let me move you out of the way let's see if we can point you in the direction of oh yeah there's the kiln so there's the kiln right there his name is clicky let's go ahead and put our piece in again we have it set for 1400 degrees 760 celsius give or take some Yes, that is 760 Celsius. So you're ready to go. There we go. I'm going to pull it here. There we go. There we go. Probably, you know, about a minute and a half two minutes. Um, you always want to under fire things just a little bit, but you want it to be shiny when you pull it out, but it doesn't have to be glossy smooth. So, and generally speaking with this kiln, if you've heard this spiel before, you know, the temperature drops, right? See, it's dropped down to 1250 Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is, 680 Celsius. And now it's going to slowly rise. And generally with this kiln, by the time it gets back up to 1400 degrees. It's gonna give me a little click, because we name it clicky, and it's probably done. So you don't have to, if somebody says fire something for two minutes, that means the moment you close the door is when you would start the timer. But remember, it's not a timer, it's when it's done. And that will vary, results may vary. So I'm gonna step away because I'm tired of being in the shot. Just enjoy looking at the kiln and oh yeah you can see i'm over here i'm going to close this little window hello um oops let me knock that 1320 all right we're going to turn this selfie circle selfie circle off and yeah so once this is done we're going to let it cool we're going to look at it we're going to have a nice long looky loo and we're at whatever 1350 um, if i had my glasses it would be helpful and you do want to avoid staring into the kiln if you're going to do a ton of staring you might as well you might want to consider some safety glasses but 
I'm not going to stare into the kiln because I am one. I'm one with the kiln. So I don't, I know what's going on because I can feel. Look, there's our clicky. And we're going to pull you out. There we go. I am a leaf on the wind. And we all know how that ended. Let me get you off. Looking good. You're stuck. You're going to cool off for a moment. And I'm going to let that cool. We're going to come back over here. I guess we'll turn on our selfie circle again. Hey. Yeah, we're just going to chill out, honestly, for about two minutes. So any questions about the enamel art jam? About how excited you are? I am like, I don't even know what I'm going to make. Oh, but you know what I want to do? I'm, I think I want to do, I want, well, I've been working with my 3D modeling skills. So I'm going to be using Fusion 360 and I'm going to 3D model Maybe it won't even be a piece of jewelry. Maybe it will be a sculptural thing. I don't know. It, it all depends on if I can get, you know, get it finished. So that is mine. And let me see, what, what was mine? Let me tell you what mine, I'm looking at my, um, wait, I'm like, crap, is something in this? <laughs> no, nothing is in the kiln. Mine is, oh, I have Enchanted Twilight. I, and that was totally random. I, and I gave myself permission if I didn't like it, I was gonna pick something different, but I have Enchanted Twilight. So, a design before the assignment. Well, it's, you know, you get to, the thing about this thing is the rules are what you make them to be. So as long as there is enamel, it's gonna get put on the, it's gonna be included in the beautiful online exhibition so but yeah i haven't what was it what it's already forgotten my what enchanted twilight so maybe i'm gonna pick something different no i'm not going i'm gonna do that so let's probably still hot let me quickly pop over there and see where we are yeah see i get to do i i get i am the rule maker so i get to do what i want do what i want all right let's pull you off Oh, you're very sweet. Still hot. Oh, and I forgot to put a dot of yellow in one of these things. That's fine. We're just going to give it another moment. I'd pull it over, but I don't. But yes. So, well, just like one more minute of cooling and then it will be ready. Um, so we will be back on Tuesday. I promise, I promise that we will be back on Tuesday. I know I've been schlubbing, um, this live stream, but, and on that day, maybe we'll be finishing this mouse. Maybe the mouse will already be finished. Uh, at the very least I've got an entire, let me show you the tray of things we're going to be starting on Tuesday. Uh, because my goal is as I'm kind of filling things in, I'm trying to work up actual inventory to sell in my store. So here's, here are the bases that I have made. Actually, this is going to be done. I've got to make this this weekend because this was, this sold on my Etsy store. Oh, it's going to be cobalt blue. I'm going to work on that this weekend, but we're going to be doing, I've got these bases ready to go and we're going to be doing, I'm kind of excited. I've been wanting to do two things I'm excited about with this batch. Um, these two, actually. I am super excited because this is gonna be that fancy. Uh, I love this orange. So we've got this piece. I've, I've had this base made for a couple of months now. So we're gonna do that with a little drop down there. And then, you know, I love these little trees with, actually it's kind of twilight. Is it twilighty? It's, it's what is it thoughtful twilight or something like that no it's not um so gauge oh um these are 20 gauge 20 on 20 gauge fused and i had actually i do have to 
you know, we might actually be fusing because I also have sold another Carolina Wren pendant. Thank you, Lori. Uh, sorry, um, Anita. Sorry, and I think I called you Lori. Anita, who joined me in a workshop last week, has cost, she's ordered a custom Carolina Wren. So I have to actually fabricate that base, which maybe we'll do that because then we can do some fusing. We'll uh, start from if that is what you want, because bending wires is kind of boring to watch. <laughs> Not that, I, to be honest, I can't imagine that this is all that exciting to watch to begin with. Let's go get our friend and see where we are. Our little guy, all melted, still hot. No, he's all right. Are you? Yeah, ouch, ow, no pain. He's got his first coat. It's very mild, which is what we want. Here is our little friend. You see he's all melted. And this is just kind of like the colors are laid down. And in the next coat, we're gonna really, really darken this blue. It's gonna get a little bit, this is gonna get punched back. This is gonna get all smoothed out and enlivened. We're gonna add our orange to green dot. Everything's gonna get punched up. So this is just, this, the first coat. The second coat really ties, it ties the whole room together. So that's what I'll be working on. You know, you get what you get on these feeds. These, this might be done next time you see, because now I'm kind of excited about it. So we'll get that finished. And we've got the back is looking just fine. There we go. So that wraps up our feed, our live stream. Thank you so much for joining me everybody. And I will see you on Tuesday. Again, don't forget, let me, before I go, uh, go to my Etsy store and buy something. Yes, do that. Also, you can go sign up for my videos, tutorials, we're doing the eyeballs. Remember, this is the eyeball that we're doing. If you wanna learn how to make this eyeball, you gotta sign up for that. And then that is it. Also this enamel art jam. There we are. There's the third thing. So have a great weekend, everybody. It's going to be gorgeous, gorgeous here. Um, I'm going to go for a hike. So have a great one, everybody. Take care.